It's true. I was banned by the Sky City Casino here in Hamilton for two years, and I wasn't allowed to go into any of the Sky City Casinos in New Zealand for a total of two years. You are not going to want to miss the story. I am going to tell you the story as I travel around and see what you can do in 24 hours in Hamilton, New Zealand. Hamilton, New Zealand is located in the top part of the North Island, kind of in the middle. It's really great because its location is just south of Auckland and you can easily get to both coasts on a weekend trip. It does have a reputation though of being um, kind of a place like, why would you want to live there? Why would you want to go there? So today we're going to figure out what exactly you can do. Why would you spend time in Hamilton in 24 hours? Let's go check it out. I'm here at the Zilong Estate. It's amazing. It's the only place where you can get tea actually grown in New Zealand. Only place in the whole country. And it's shipped around the world. If you are not in New Zealand ever, you still should order some tea here. It's fully organic and wins awards every year. Let's go. So we, what we grow here is um, the Camellia sinensis and we have we make five different types of tea uh, out of that. So we have a really nice earthy green tea, three different types of oolong, and a very um, nice and sweet black tea, which is actually really nice as a dessert uh, tea as well. Ooh. All award-winning teas as well. So can you ex tell me a little bit about why the, this is the only place that grows tea in the country? So our founder, Vincent Chen, he started, um, he saw that the Camellia flower was flowering in New Zealand and um, he thought like, oh, there's a Camellia some, some sort of tea. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he started experimenting with it and he was a very like tea enthusiastic and um, he got some cuttings off from Taiwan and started um, to plant them. And, and now we ended up with a tea plantation, 45, um, 48 hectares and 1.2 million tea bushes. So it starts with the, it starts with the picking. And you can see the equipment that they wear, like the heads. It's still like the, the tea pickers here on the estate that they were exactly the same. They have like little razors on their fingers to be able to pick it. Uh, the tea really, really quickly, but also to not damage the plant, so like a clean cut. So everything is hand picked here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. When we harvest, we pick by hand and we harvest the top three leaves of the plant. The top three? Yes. Okay. There's no scent or... There's no smell. After that room, that was if just in with all that yeah, smell. Yeah. actually tea and chocolate. So this is a green tea of uh, red rose and cinnamon and manuka, so Lenny Gatsby. It's a really nice and fresh light tea, but with the rose and cinnamon. And then we have our sweet amber, which is a black tea with um, lemon and ginger. And we pair that with a chocolate, also with ginger powder, which is quite nice and spicy. Okay, you guys have to come here and do this tea chocolate tasting. Oh my goodness. Okay, just finished my tour with Zilong. Amazing. Guys, you need to come here and at least do the high tea. The high tea looks stunning. There's like events going on there today, so I wasn't able to. And if you want to do a tour like I did, where I just was able to see the plantation and they walked me around a little bit, just reach out to them and they'll let you do that as well. And if you want to try some of their tea, you can do that right in the gift shop. Definitely check out Zilong. So this is how the story really goes. We were in Hamilton for a weekend for a sporting event for one of my kids as I was in charge of the other three children. And then it was a blazing, blazing hot day in Hamilton. And then I saw Sky City and it had like um, all the stuff to do for kids, like bowling and an arcade. And it, I was like, oh, I bet you they have air conditioning because nobody had air conditioning. And I was like, well, let's go in there, check it out. And we did, and we went up to the arcade and then my kids were playing and I was just sitting there and I was like, I should go check out the casino because I had never been in a casino in New Zealand and my attitude is you gotta try everything. So I go in with $10 to the casino and my kids stay at the arcade. It's just up the stairs in the same building. Uh, my older kid was old enough to uh, babysit and so I just went to the casino for 20 minutes. And then that is where the most unexpected thing happened. So as a marketing professional, I love it when companies actually use their name for marketing and not waste it on like, I mean, like your last name or something that doesn't mean anything. So for lunch today, I'm going to the Grumpy Baker. 
a lot of my community recommended this place and we're gonna go check it out today. Here we go. Okay, so I really wanted the pretzel at the Grumpy Baker, but they were out. So I have a mince and cheese savory is what they call it. If you haven't had the meat pies at Disneyland, oh my gosh, so good. Ooh, Ooh that's nice. Ooh, perfect. All right, next we're gonna head to the Waikato Museum. It should be good. Okay, so a must stop is the Waikato Museum. It was amazing. Like, it's free mostly, but I would check out that wildlife uh, museum part. Like, it's like the best photography of wildlife around the world. It was amazing. Very, very cool. Worth a stop. Probably wouldn't take you more than an hour, but check it out. And also, right next door is like this art museum, and I think that's free too. So let's go check that out. So another popular thing that you can do in Hamilton is just rent a bike or go for a walk along the river. There's so many paths, it goes forever and it's amazing. All right, so I bet you're dying to know what happened next. So this is what happened. So I was in the casino for a total of 20 minutes, spent $10 and I was walking out and these two burly guys had all my children. They're like, are these your abandoned children? And I was like, I didn't abandon my children. My oldest son was watching them, and they're like, well, how old is he? And he's 13. Well, apparently in New Zealand, you have to be 14 to watch your own siblings, but in the US, it's like 12. So like, I didn't even know that. And I was like, okay, okay. So he's gonna be 14 next month. Like, I didn't abandon my children. They just kept using that word. And I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, are you serious? And they're like, we take this very seriously that you have a problem. Like, I don't have the gambling. And like, <laughs> I was only in here for 20 minutes. And like, I swear to you, like every single thing I said made it sound worse. Made it sound like I had a problem. Like, I don't have a problem. I was only in here for 20 minutes. Check the tapes, you know? Oh my gosh, I was like in panic. Cause the way that they were talking, like, I don't know. Like I thought, you know, I don't know anything. Like social services, like in the US gonna come after me and take my children. And I was like, what the heck is happening? So they're like, this is very, big deal and we need to write you up and we need to issue you a ticket. I'm like, are you serious? Apparently there's lots of moms that leave their children places and gamble. So I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. Whatever you need to do, you need to do. Like, I'm not gonna argue with these big burly guys. So he writes, he feels bad because he realizes that I didn't know a lot of these things. <laughs> but I'm so embarrassed, you guys. It's literally taken me, what, four or five years to even tell you this story. I'm like, is this like on my record? Like I'm looking for a job and they're like, no, 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 not unless you come back in here. Then he hands me the ticket and the ticket was for two years, two years on BAM from all Sky City casinos, which is the only casinos in the country. I'm like, two years? <laughs> and then of course, every time I say that, it makes it sound like I have a gambling problem. So I was like, okay, two years, fine. I don't need to come back in because I don't have a gambling problem. And it took me a long time to even tell people. I told the rest of the family, my husband and my oldest daughter who was at the volleyball camp that night and they were hysterically laughing at me, but I was like devastatingly embarrassed. And so that's a story of how I got banned from the casino. Now you think it might end there? It doesn't, there's more. All right, let's see if the one back in the casino. Okay, so the rain has come out, but the gardens are still beautiful. It's probably not the best time of year for me to be showing you all of this as we're going into fall here, but you will be so impressed with the gardens here in Hamilton, and it just kind of surprises you. Like you're in Hamilton, it's, you know, it's like a normal city, but then they have these stunning gardens, so you're gonna wanna check it out.
Okay, so I am sure you are dying to hear the final part of the story because it's good. So let's fast forward 2.5 years. I've done my two years, more than two years, and I'm in Queenstown. I'm shopping. I have to use the bathroom. The public toilets are quite far away. So I decide um, that I'm just, oh, I see the Sky City. I'm allowed to go back in. I know that they have a bathroom because they try to keep everybody in the casino. So I go there, I go to the bathroom, and I'm walking out. As I'm walking out, these two guys come to me and they're like, is there a reason why you're setting off the silent alarms? No, like, mm, there shouldn't be, but I think I know. So I told them what happened and they escorted me back to this room. Now, let me just tell you, it wasn't just like a room. It was like, I'm going down corridors. I'm starting to get like freaked out because I'm like by myself. I don't know who these people are. They sit me down. They're like, you, you've been banned for the casino for two years. I'm like, I know. They're like, you can't just come back in. Like, Sorry, didn't know that. Thought I did my two years. We're like, you have to be interviewed to make sure that you are capable of coming back into the casino. And I'm like, okay, fine, interview me. But you guys, this interview was so interesting because it was like, oh, it was like some personal questions. Like, are you allowed, do you make enough money to go to the casino? I'm like, yes. How much money do you make per year? Okay. What, how much are, is this cost, the net cost? And like 20 minutes of questions. Then he's like, okay, that's fine. That's what I needed. He's like, I'm gonna escort you out. You're not allowed to come back into a casino for three to five days as this process is. And I'm like, don't worry. I was just in the bathroom. <laughs> and he was like, he could actually see my whole original tape and like, oh yeah, I see what happened. You were only in the casino for 20 minutes. This is what I've been saying. So anyway, pretty funny, but funny, not funny. And he escorted me out and I, you know, obviously didn't go back in. So. Can I get back into the Hamilton Casino? Well, I went in yesterday. I got back in. No silent alarms going off. So that's the story of how I got banned from Hamilton Sky City Casino. So I'm just leaving the gardens now and it takes about an hour to walk through at the most. And there's a guided tour, I believe, for 75 minutes if you wanna do that. Uh, but they're amazing. It's a little bit rainy, uh, but you can still walk through. They provide uh, umbrellas if you need. And of course you have to have your good raincoat, which I tell everybody, if you're coming to New Zealand, have a real good raincoat. Okay, so I just went to a place called Mama Donuts that you guys recommend. And it looks really cool. Like for $5, you can get like this donut maker, you know. Anyway, we're going to try them today. They smell amazing. And what I really like about it is that they're not perfect looking. It's like real home baked goods. Okay, guys, I'm going to try the Mama Donuts. Okay, this is like so soft and it's hot and it's fresh. So here we go. Oh. Because if you don't know, I'm a huge Krispy Kreme fan. So, oh my gosh. Sorry. The dough has a really unique taste. Like it's really good. Oh my gosh. It's huge, but it's so good. You guys gotta check out Mama Donuts. Okay, we are heading out to dinner tonight. Mexican, it is in Hamilton. This is an amazing place. I've been to the same one in Rotorua and loved it. So here we go. 